hi guys welcome to the channel welcome to the another video today we'll be filming the all new bugatti bolide bugatti has pulled the wraps of what it calls the most extreme uncompromising fastest and lightest vehicle concept in the brand's modern age called the bolide the track oriented model promises an, an astonishing weight to power ratio of 0.67 kg per horsepower that translates to 1825 horsepower component component ceramic brakes feature calipers that weigh just 2.4 kg each with center lock forged aluminum hose weighing 7.4 kg at the front and 8.4 kg at the rear. Those are short in ties with extreme weight up to 340 mm at the front and 400 mm at the rear. While there is even a compressed air driven jack with four ramps designed to make tie changes easier. The suspension is used by the titanium push rods with horizontal dampers. The push rods themselves weigh just 100 grams. Welded stainless steel control arms are also designed as wind profiles. The dramatic body itself is shaped, unsurprisingly, with aerodynamics in mind. Bugatti claims 1,800 kilograms of downforce on the rear wind and 800 kilograms on the front wind at around 200 mph. Highlights include a worldwide innovation. In the roof-mounted intake scoop, which is claimed to provide active aerodynamics, the surface of the scoop is smooth at low speeds, but bubbles bulge out at higher speeds to reduce drag and downforce. The bullet is very low slack and just 995 mm tall and 300 mm lower than the Chiron. It has doors that fold upwards like an LMP1 racing car. Air ducts are said to link to the aesthetics of Formula 1 cars, while the X team used throughout, in particular in the red light design, are meant to refer to the Bell X1 experimental jet aircraft that shark Yiga piloted to become the first person to break sound barrier in 1947. As for performance, Bugatti claims a theoretical top speed of well above 300 mph without compromising handling. Most takingly, it claims the bullet can do a lap of Le Mans in minutes. Interestingly, Bugatti says the car features safety equipment designs to meet the FIA racing regulations. There are also features to the iconic Bugatti Type 35 racer of the 1920s. It remains to be seen if there is any racing intent with the new car, but there are long circulating suggestions suggestion that Bugatti could eventually enter the Le Mans 24 hours endurance race. Horse also unclear, however, is if the bullet will be built for customers. Bugatti claims it has not been yet decided yet if the car will go into production, and that is currently an innovative information source. Of future technologies. Thanks for watching and please subscribe for more other interesting videos.